What's up, Dark Zone Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Monster Races. We are in the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. Now let's see what those two people have to say to us. Aren't the little, uh, aren't the little fishies pretty? <coughs> My daughter likes to fish, but I'm looking for a race. So am I. <laughs> a race? What about the fishies? We'll look at them later, dear. <laughs> so it's like... You take, the, you take the girl with you. Okay. Oh, a racer. Let's race. Okay, who do we want? We want... Hmm, Monarch, because he is useful. Also, damn, he has stats. He's almost as good as Leafy. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's use Monarch. Because we will probably use him in the big race. What is that? What is that? And where did you get them? Okay, they're both good on sand, but I'm way better on water. Probably. Well, way better might be over-exaggerated, but I am better. <laughs> oh, why did they have to jump? Okay, let's see. What do we do? Yeah, we attack them. No problem. So, sadly, there is way more sand in this than there is water. But as soon as there is water, I can gain quite some momentum and they will have to just see where they where I left them off and that was a strange sentence I don't think that it was in any way correct I'm just gonna further my advantage and I think we're almost done yes and we won so yeah Monarch is a pretty decent runner in the water but on sand he is really slow and that's the problem I don't think I have anyone who's good on sand. Hmm. Should have watched the fishies. Yeah. It's awful when you realize your daughter is smarter than you. Hmm. You should take this. Yellow gun drop. Okay. Let's see where this leads us. Over here. Ocarina quiet. What did that do again? Oops. Items. Is it here? Yeah. Ocarina. Puts wild monsters to sleep, uh, to sleep, and uh, they stop moving. I'm a bit tired. I'm, I'm really, I'm doing my best here, or not, depending on how you want to see that. And we're gonna race this wild Dinkum. So I mean, I said he's not very fast on sand. The thing is, he's not that slow on sand either. He is just it's 27 uh, miles per hour versus 29 when he's in the water. So he's definitely no not bad on sand. He's just not really good on sand. Let's see how Leafy fares. I shouldn't have done that because I don't want to train him at the moment. 32 with his uh, beginning boost and then 27 across the board. So he's just a tiny bit weaker or um, slower than Monarch. That's... yeah. I would love to use him, but I mean, I can't. It's just... it's the cup, it's the New Zealand something cup. New Zealand Open. And I can only use monsters from around here. But I mean, since we have problems with the wild monsters already, that just, that sucks. I think, I think I will do what I said I will probably do, or probably won't do, whatever. I think I'll try, use this Monarch, once he's leveled up, um, this Monarch and someone who can run on water, uh, on sand, and cross him, as long as the other monster that we just tried to cross is done already because I mean yeah and then I will go to Asia to do the Asia Grand Prix against what's the evil guy called Edwin and see if we can do that with Leafy because I think the Asia Cup was for everyone not just for Asian monsters if I remember that correctly oh come on are you here for sightseeing or for monster racing there's so much to do here it's my dream holiday racing of course so, once again, the guy just wants to race and the one he's with just wants to take a look around. Well, 
Can't say I can blame him. What a weird monkey. Oh my goodness, what a freaking weird monkey. Once again, probably pretty good on sand, but not on water. Sadly, those tracks have way more sand than water, as I said before. So, mm, gonna try my best. Come on. Just said I'm gonna try my best, and then I did something uh, something so stupid. I've done that. I've had that problem before. So why did I do it again? Who knows? So yeah, even now I'm way behind. Although I'm gaining on them, I just need one more power. Like this infuriates me just a little bit. See if we can gain on them. Nope. They're both done. Oh, come on. So, Monarch's gonna lose some will, and I'll have. Did he only have one? Oh, he's one of those. Okay, let's see. Sightseeing. Monarch is one of those monsters who just have one will. That sucks. Like, big time. Uh, yellow gum. No, um, mini motivator. I only have one of those. I should. Since I want to go to Star Island anyway, or Star City, I'll have to stock up on mini motivators. Racing. Okay, so without those two uh, mistakes, I would have won no problem. Or no problem, I, I would have won. Because I was, I think, two or three seconds behind them. And if I didn't use my boost and just stay where I was, oh, there would have been like two seconds, probably. And not falling in this hole or the next hole, I don't know where it was, would have probably saved me another two or three seconds. So I should... I should be able to win this without too much of a hassle. Let's go up, because that's pretty much always a good idea, although you could fall into a pit with that. And you really don't want that. Oh, they're gaining on me. See, it's... Like... This is gonna be... I, I, I don't think I can do the uh, New Zealand Open. As I am right now. Large cracker quiet. Okay, it's, it's nice. So I don't want to see the whole island or the whole barrier reef. I mean, I would in reality. I would like to. But here I don't. Bandicoot, really? Bandicoot and Paradox. Paradox I can get behind. Bandicoot? Okay, it's a bandic Bandicoot. And okay, that makes sense regionally. But it seems this one also struggles on sand. Why did I do that? For the money, of course. And yes, that was calculated. I totally knew there was the money up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, just... <sighs> I mean, I just want to win. It's, it's not like I want to power on through. I just want to win. Like against normal wild monsters. With a monster who is technically made for this region. Technically. And by the way, where am I? Wasn't sure whether to race or to dive, but I think I'd rather race. So would I. Like, sure. And once again, Monarch. Who has really great stats, but the sand just slows him down so much. Poco is good on sand? I think he is, yeah. But water will slow him down considerably. Well, considerably. A little bit. Water will slow him down, period. Gonna get that, gonna get that. Gonna get the meat and just jump in. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I just ran across the pit. But okay. <laughs> I just did. And I'm okay with that. Don't need an explanation for everything. 
And jump. Poco is way behind. That's a good thing. I'm gonna win this without too much of a hassle. Yeah. 51 seconds. It's just not good. I mean, it's okay, but it's just not good. Five seconds to spare. Level Monarch is level 25, and he, with that, he is technically way too high. Oh, Star Crystal. Because I, I always say it, I want Leafy to be my strongest one. Against two Monarchs, and Leafy gets a boost, so I have to do this with him. <laughs> Alright. And then afterwards, I'll use one of those uh, ladder things to get out of here. Get to Star City to see if we actually can already splice some more monsters. Because problem is, there is a high chance that the monster I just spliced just to do something um, is not done yet or not made yet or created or birthed or I don't know how it works. Because you can't really give birth to them because the monsters you use you still have in your party if you use them from a party. God damn it, since those monarchs are so good in water, I can't. Yeah. Okay, I win. I couldn't really get much of an advantage there. Do I want to keep battling and. Nah. I want to go now? Uh, what's it called? I need to stock up on that as well. I don't have an, a letter. God. Freaking damn it. So now I somehow need to get all around until I circle back to the beginning again. Well, at least this will take some time and the spliced monster will be ready. Always look on the bright side, I guess. Not much of a bright side, but yeah. I'm trying here, yeah, I'm trying guys. No. Haven't been here it seems. Whoa. But I've been here? Have I just Oh cool. I work in mysterious ways. Oh it's a steam move and a paradox. Is nope. Oh I can't take a look at my enemies. I wanted to know, oh no, Steemo I took a look at when I caught it and it was good on fire, just not on sand, yeah. As you can see by the um, drops of sweat or whatever that are just bouncing away from it. That shows that they are just not adequately equipped for whatever kind of terrain they're on. And if he is good enough to be fast everywhere, just not very fast. So he doesn't have those droplets anymore. And we're here. We've been here already. Let's go this way, I'd say. Oh, look, there's someone over there. Let's go this way. Hope for the best. Probably have been here already. Nope, haven't. Rope ladder. Okay, but before I use it, I will go to the left right now. Because maybe to the left is the beginning of the whole le uh, of the whole area, so if I use the rope ladder now, it would be wasted. We'll see about that. I still don't really get how attacking works. I mean, I know how it works, but I just normally you jump on top of someone or attack him from behind. Right now he jumped and I jumped from below, meaning technically he jumped on me. But he took the damage. Maybe it was because I was a step further behind? I don't know, really. I, I don't really get that. Let's go here. Oh, okay. We fought against you already, meaning, yes, I will use the rope ladder. Rope ladder. Use, and then I will get some more once I am in Star City. So was Star City so far the only city we've been to? 
Yes, my beauty. I have done it. I have created the monster. And here it is. Wow. We got a monarch who isn't good on anything. Like, it took his water and just negated it. Okay, let's use him. And someone who is good on sand. Do I have anyone? I do. Poco. I mean, he is really weak. But he's green? <laughs> Problem is, there is not even a... Uh, guarantee that it will be what I need it to be. Item shop. What do we have here? We wanted some mini motivators. Let's go for five. Rope ladder. Let's go for five. Warp ladder can be used to escape from any field straight to Star City. Don't care for that. I mean, it would take. Wait. Puts. Wild monsters to sleep and stops them from moving temporarily? Briefly. Okay, so this is just a bit better. Anyway, um. From anywhere straight to Star City, just. It would save us like 5 seconds. Yeah, we need 20, alright. Do you have anything better for now? Or is it just. Oh, yeah! Well. Rock Top, Humble Bug, Dinkum. Oh, and everything... Oh, no. A better belt and a better headband, but not a better claw. Too bad. Because I really want those claws. Uh, oops. I didn't want to go in here. So now we have to... Uh, to waste some time, more or less. To see if my plan worked. So let's go to Asia, I guess. I'm gonna save here because it might be just a normal Grand Prix which we can win without too much of a problem. It might just be very hard and I will lose. I don't know. Yo, talk to me. I see you have some skill. You may keep me amused. Don't disappoint me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Grand Prix. It's the moment we've all been waiting for and for a while. But after that little delay, the tournament is upon us. Will Asia's finest racer, eraser, Edwin, defend his title against this year? Again this year, not against this year. Oh, will Renegade have something to say about that? This is the showdown like... This is a showdown the likes of which we have never witnessed. Oh my goodness. Keep your eyes peeled and your face is set to amazed. <laughs> All participants, please proceed to the race gate. So, you will soon know the true power of Edwin of the Star Seven. So, we already defeated one of the Star Seven. Now we might defeat another one of the Star Seven. Does that mean they are just bad? Like, if we can't beat them as we are now, does that mean actually the, um, the guy from... Australia is weaker than all the others and the guy from Asia is weaker than most of the others like I I Have to compare to Pokemon again in the games. Yes, you always fight them in the same order um, But in the anime like in uh, Pokemon Origins they kind of had a uh, Had an explanation for that. It's that the gym leader takes a look at your current level and acts accordingly. Like, if you only have two Pokemon and they are level 10, then he will have two Pokemon, like Brock, around level 12 and 14, stuff like that. So if it's the same here, or it, it can't really be the same here, because they are talking about how they are so amazing and they are the best and stuff like that, so... Edwin is, or um, the guy from Australia is just a pushover. And Edwin probably is too, if I can do this right now. Fantastico! Super racing here, everyone. 
But we've sorted the contenders from the pretenders now. Next up to semifinals. Which four races will make it through the, to the big one? This is where it gets interesting. All right. Um, I mean, technically he is faster than Leafy. But Leafy is just better. And I want him to get all the XP. Here are Fornex and Lupus are our enemies. And they have hopefully something interesting. Jabaru, nope. Manitale, nope. Goya, of course. Okay, that was... I don't... I don't know if I just hit the gate right there, just briefly, or if it was a flawless start. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just here to win, and that's what I'm gonna do. See, that's what I meant. That's what I meant before. This was a poorly timed power, um, or a boost. But no way you can actually know that until you, uh, unless you know every every track by heart. And I doubt anyone out there does that. <laughs> and we're going up. Ooh, almost. So they're gaining on me due to my mistake. But I'm still leafy and this means I am way better than them, way faster than them. As long as no one hits me with anything, I'm done it. See, that's some good experience points. Magnifico! The semifinals are over! Edwin and Renegade both have made it through. This is heading down to the wire. At least, at last, it's final time! Is it going to be a ding-dong battle between the two favorites? What the fuck? The climax of the Aegean Grand Prix awaits. A ding-dong battle? What? <laughs> it just that doesn't make any sense. By the way, I didn't equip Leafy with the claw, I think. I said I would... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. What is that? And where can I get one of those? Like, I want to have the monsters of the Star 7. And gotcha. I really do want that. But the thing is, it I could imagine that it is just some sort of post-game. Like, yeah, you've done it. Now you can go to an area or to some areas. Or one area in every continent where you can get special monsters like ones you've never seen before whoa easy there big fella and the rest i even got him with like a snap of my tail or something like that that's pretty great and gonna get some money because we are through gotcha 49 seconds and that's oh my goodness that is one Amazing looking monster. And Leafy levels up. Nice, nice. And the winner of this year's Asian Grand Prix is Renegade! The pride of Asia, the member of the Star 7, Edwin, has been sensationally defeated. What a moment. Please step forward and pick up the winner's cup. Awesome. So got the big one in Asia as well. So haven't been to most regions, but yet have uh, two cup uh, Grand Prix in my in the bag hmm. first ocean uh, ocean and now asia renegade is on fire and are we witnessing are we witnesses to the rise of a new monster racing hero one more time everyone put your hands together applause please you i can't believe i lost to a miserable giant like you i must drive myself harder than ever and claim my revenge okay sure why not no wonder we couldn't win i mean master edmund just lost if he can't do it then what a chance do we have yeah, true. I am just amazing. You suck. Yeah. I kind of feel guilty now. I don't think Astral Force are really all that bad. Congratulations, Renegade. That, that's your second Grand Prix. Yes, they are bad. Or at least some of them, because they steal monsters. That's still bad. Even if they are not bad people, they do bad stuff. Hmm. And Edwin, he was certainly no pushover. But he was no match for you. Come on, let's go back to Star City. All right. That's a good, uh, yeah. And we're back. Well done, Renegade. I believe it's Renegade, yes. You won the Asia Grand Prix. Who are you? One of the Star 7, I guess. Oh, I work for Star Island Television. I would love the opportunity for an interview with you. If you could find some time, that would be great. By which I'm right now. Oh, and by the way, just in case you don't know, we're next to the Races Union. I look forward to seeing you there. So yeah, he wants... Wow, now you're going to be on TV. 
Guess this makes you a star. Can I get your autograph? Nope. Okay, will it take some more time? Yeah, I thought so. We've just been here. I just thought that maybe a a cup would count as some more time than just walking around. There you are. What took you so long? Come on now, we're out of time. Let's get this started. Over here, quickly, in front of camera. Obnoxious guy. I, I should just walk away. Right, let's get the show start started, shall we? Hello and welcome. It's time for another exciting edition of Behind the Races. Today's guest is the rising young star and new champion of Oceania and Asia, Renegade. You have been racing for long, but you've already won so much. How do you feel about it so far? This is just the beginning. I'm simply that good. I've been very lucky or no comment. I'm simply that good. <laughs> what a short confidence. They do say a bit of arrogance is needed at the top level. So then, what are your immediate goals? Winning the next Grand Prix, training my monsters, befriend new monsters, not in particular, training my monsters. Yes, that is important. A large, par large part of being a monster race is training your monsters. It's at the tournaments that all that hard work pays off. Well, I'm afraid that all that's all the time we have for today. That was a great interview. <laughs> Join us next time on Behind the Races. Who knows who our guest will be? And cut. That's a wrap, people. Let's move on to the next corner. How was it, Renegade? Even in front of the cameras, you didn't seem nervous at all. Hehe, <laughs> I did love to, though. Oh. I mean, the comment was so like you. After all this success, you say, I'm simply that good. What an ego. <laughs> right then, it's time, it's time to head to Eurasia. Ooh, nice, let's take it to a new level. So, Eurasia, uh, it's, it, I know why it's called that, but it just sounds so wrong. It's. Yeah, it's, it's Asia and part of Europe. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, <laughs> too bad. But let's go there and see what kind of monsters we get. We have 27 minutes on the clock. You know what? Let's keep that for next time. We won a Grand Prix. We defeated the evil organization's boss, technically. But I guess we will have to defeat him again and again. But yeah, I think that was a pretty successful episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm Renegade Cactus, and I got around. Bye bye!